Okay, on this video we're going to talk about just moving around a spreadsheet. Um, something nice and easy to get into. So some of the things you probably already know is like you use your arrow keys to move around the spreadsheet. However, I'm going to give you all the wonderful little keyboard shortcuts that will save you a lot of time. Um, so for example, this goes off the screen. So how do I make sure I get to the bottom and so on? Well, all will be just revealed in this video. First of all, um, this file can be obtained from my uh, website pcteach.me and look for the relevant post. However, um, in all intents and purposes, you can type whatever you want in. But if those of you at home that want to follow along, please um, subscribe and get the actual um, file. So, what are we going to do? Well, basically the context of this file is just basically an employees list that we've got here um, and I want to move around so obviously the first thing is you can use the up down left right keys on your keyboard to move around you can also use the mouse to move around However, what we may want to do is jump to the very bottom very quickly, jump to the very end very quickly. Now, this is quite easily done by using the control key, if you hold the control key down, and then press the relevant arrow in the direction you want to go. So, in this case, I want to go to the department field, which is in column H. So, all I do is hold down the control key and hit the right arrow, and lo and behold, I jump to that particular um, area. Now, if you hold down the control key and press down arrow, you should jump to the very bottom line, which is is the 40th row. So we've learned a very useful keyboard shortcut straight away is using the control keys you can jump to the extremities of your document. However it doesn't end there. Um, what we can also do is if I just go across let's say into the L column here and I just type in hello. Now what will happen is if I go back to the beginning again and then hold down the control key and press the right arrow. You'll see I'll jump to department, but if I press it again, I'll then jump to hello. So in some cases, you need to press it multiple times to jump around your document much more clearly and concisely. So for example, if I press control down arrow, I jump to the bottom, but is there any other text underneath this? Well, if I do control down arrow again, no, there isn't. And as you can see, I've jumped to the bottom of the spreadsheet, which is at 65,000 rows. Now, um, depending on the version of Excel you're on, that could be 65,000 rows or it could be actually over 1 million rows. Um, in this case, because it's an old version of Excel, um, it's 65,000 is the maximum limit. So if you've reached the bottom, well, we can do control up arrow to jump to the very last cell it can find um, and then control up arrow again to jump to the top. However, in a lot of cases, if you've got a lot of data all over the place, so if I type in um, hello here as well, right at the bottom, um, doing these control arrows although can jump you large distances very quickly, the problem you're going to find is that you really need to get to the very end of the spreadsheet. Well, an alternative option is using the end key. Now, if you just press end key on its own, it doesn't do anything, but you may notice down at the bottom here, it says end move. So if I now press right arrow, it jumps me the, exactly the same as if I used control and arrow. So in effect, when you use um, home and end, or end in this case, when you press end it then tells you at the bottom that you are going to do a quick move and then just using your arrows you can jump. Now watch this though, if you hold down the control key and press end what will happen is it drops you down to the bottom right hand corner. Now you may say well why didn't it go to hello? Well the reason is, is do you remember that we actually typed something if I do control up arrow we did something in the L column in L1, we typed in hello there. So in all intents and purposes, when you do control end, that is what Excel saves as the file size. Because if you think about it, we've got how many columns going across? Well, we go to IV, which is 255 columns across, and we've got 65,000 rows. If you do the maths there, that's quite a lot of cells that it has to um, store in its um, file. Well, what really happens is it only stores where control end finishes. So it's basically saving a spreadsheet for you which finishes in the L column and finishes on row 65527 in the example on screen. So control end jumps you to the very bottom. Well have a guess what jumps you to the very top. Well you could say well it's home. But well, if you press home what it does is it jumps you to the beginning of the line. If you wanted to jump all the way back up to A1 you use control home. 
And there you have it. Very, very quick ways of jumping around um, your document via keyboard shortcut. However, that's not the end of the story because there are other ways we can actually jump to things. Um, now, on your keyboard, again, as a shortcut, if you hold down the control key and press G, this will bring up a dialog box known as Go To. Now, what will be in here is um, either a reference that you can type in or you will have this area here. I'll go into that in a moment. But what we'll do is if we just type in um, J, 55 into the reference field and click on OK. What it will do is it will jump us literally to J55. Now, if you're finding it difficult to follow the column and the row, which are, I, I have problems with, always look at the top left and you can see here it's actually showing J55. But when you hover over it, it will say name box. Now, this is why that go to box has that big list. Now, what I would like to do is if we do control home to jump up to the top, what we're going to do is we're going to just pick a particular cell of interest. Now, let's say that um, we're interested in this cell here where it says Sydney. Now, it says currently E26 on the um, name box at the top. Well, click in there and just type in test and then press return or enter. Now, what's actually happened is the following. If you do um, control home to jump up to the top, on that little drop down, if you click on that drop down arrow there, you'll see that test is available. And if you click, it jumps you to it. So what you've got there is what's known as a bookmark. So it very, very quickly jumps you around the spreadsheet as well. Now, it's not only that. If you do Control G to bring up that dialog box again, notice it's remembered the A1 cell that we jumped to a lot, but it's also got that test value in there. So you can jump very quickly by doing Control G, and you could have a large list of bookmarks in here. And scrolling up and down in alphabetical order it should be in, you can then jump very quickly to those particular areas so it's very very handy now named boxes such as this Sydney that we've called test at the top here it doesn't have to be one cell it could actually be a range of cells and in later videos you'll find that we'll be using this name box um, technique an awful lot because it saves you a lot of time in highlighting so for example if I wanted to um, do a um, chart let's say let's go to a1 and I'm going to do um, control shift and end now what that's done is it's actually highlighted all the way down to L65527 um, again which is not what we really want so control home we'll do control shift down arrow and control shift right arrow and what you've now done is you've highlighted all of the data in that employees list so what we'll do now is at the top in this name box we'll put in here and we'll just call it employee data all as one word it's always best to keep them as one word and then press return and so from now on if I just click away and then I go to this little drop down box again you'll see I've got employee data there and when I click lo and behold you've now got it highlighted the whole thing so no more dragging with the mouse to highlight the information you can just literally go in here and choose that particular um, named value and you're done it's actually highlighted the whole lot if I scroll down so we've learned quite a bit there some of it you probably knew all along with the arrow keys but there's a lot more you can do with keyboard shortcuts which can save you a lot of time now to finish off this particular um, video we're just going to talk about um, how we can highlight information on your um, spreadsheet quickly so give you an example you've been given an Excel file to work on and you want to know which of these particular cells are calculations versus the things which are just standard text well no problem if you just do control G brings up your go to box the thing we've not done is this special button we'll have a click on there what it does is it brings up all these different things. Now, some of these things we're not going to be covering on this video. For example, comments and so forth will be on subsequent videos. But specifically, let's go to the formulas one in this instance. And as you can see, it's saying, what kind of formulas? Is it a text formula? For example, you've got first name, last name. You could do a formula to join them together and create a new field called full name. Well, that would be a text formula. What we want to do is we're curious about the numbers. So I'm going to untick the text 
list logical and errors and so I've got the formula selected and click on OK and what you'll see is it's immediately highlighted the calculation which is actually on the screen and this is just a simple calculation a very very bad calculation I may add but what it does is it takes today's date subtracts it from the date of birth to give you their age divided it by 365. But the key thing here is that using that control G is a lifesaver if you're not familiar with a spreadsheet because you can jump around look for particular things. Now here's another one you know we were doing this control shift down arrow control shift right arrow to select this information that information has a special name in Excel and it's called current region now what I'd like you to do is this just click anywhere in the data it doesn't matter where don't follow me just click anywhere in that data what you'd want to do then is do control G and then go to special but this time select current region and when you click on OK watch what happens it immediately highlights all the data again and as you can see it's automatically put the name box back onto what, what we had before. So selecting and highlighting data is very simply done via keyboard shortcuts however don't just rely on those there are some very handy techniques out there especially admittedly starting with the keyboard shortcut of control G which is called go to you can then select particular cells or areas of interest almost like a history if you will of where you've been also you can go to special and select different areas of interest such as formulas and for example if you have any errors it's very handy because all you've got to do is deselect and just say are there any errors in the document no cells were found with errors fantastic we've got no calculation problems so hope you've enjoyed this video this is just small baby steps we're going to move on to a lot more bigger and brighter things but to highlight information quickly and efficiently is the key to understanding Excel's um, potential because quite a lot of the time you'll be dragging the mouse highlighting A1 through to A10 and all this sort of malarkey when you could actually have saved a lot of time by using the name box using control G to select information or even using the keyboard shortcuts I've shown in this video. So, hope you can stick around and watch the next video. Thanks for watching.